Thursday. I do not have any sports gear here with me, but our first word problem today is all about sports, so I'm really excited to jump in. Don't forget that later today at four o'clock, we have our Zoom party, which I'm so excited about, and I can't wait to see all your faces. Let's get started. Today, we're looking at module six, lesson six, and we're gonna start reading where it says Miss Rossi. So when you have your packet and you're ready, go ahead and point to that word, Miss Rossi. Let's get started. You're reading on two, one, two. Miss Rossi has 12 sports jerseys. Miss Marsh has 14 sports jerseys. How many sports jerseys do Miss Rossi and Miss Marsh have together? Pause and solve this problem on your own. We'll do it together when you're done. Nice job, you did it on your own. Let's try it out together. So I'm gonna mark up my problem real fast. And I see this word at the end. It says together. That word together tells me that I'm looking for the total. That word together tells me that I'm looking for the that's right, I'm looking for the total. So I need to find the total number of sports jerseys that Miss Rossi and Miss Marsh have all together. So I'm gonna set up my tape diagram. First, I'm gonna make one box for Miss Rossi and another box for Miss Marsh and draw the two lines on top because those are super important and we can't forget those. Now we know that our two parts are 12 and 14. So inside of one of my tape diagram boxes, I'm gonna write 12. And of course, we're gonna label it an R for Miss Rossi. And on the other one, I'm gonna use the number 14 because that's what the text tells us and label it M for Miss March. Now scholars, it is up to you how you write your number sentence. Since I use the number 12 first in my tape diagram, I'm gonna write 12. And I know that I'm looking for the total, so I'm gonna do an addition number sentence. And I'm gonna add the other part, which is 14. Scholars, you can choose to add 10, make 10, count on however you like. I'm going to add 10 to solve this problem. To add 10, I need to break up my smaller number into a part of ones and tens. I'm gonna add that number to the other. I know that 14 plus 110 is 24. 24 plus two more is 26. And I can write it on my tape diagram too. And now we know that together, Miss Rossi and Miss Marsh have 26 sports jerseys. Nice job, let's keep going. Today we are gonna be reviewing something that you should remember from a long, long, long time, way back when we were in school, learning and growing our brains together. We're gonna to review it now together, this time on the computer. So we have three symbols in front of you. Take your finger and point to the greater than symbol. That's right, it's the first symbol. When the mouth is out pointing this way, we, have, we are saying greater than. When the mouth is pointing this way, we're saying less than. You can also think of it like this. Less than, when you make an L with your hand, it looks kind of like this. When you turn it a little bit, it looks like a less than symbol. And equal to is just an equal sign. So I'm gonna make a symbol with my hands and you shout out which symbol I'm saying, which symbol I'm making. Get ready. Ooh. Get ready. That one's less than. Get ready. Nice job. Get ready. Nice job. All right, let's keep going. Today, we're gonna to be looking to use these three symbols with some numbers inside of a place value chart. Let's look at our first number over here. 
this number is telling us that we have 10 tens in the tens, 10 tens in zero ones. 10 tens in zero ones. Hmm, what number could that be? I don't know, so I'm gonna count by tens 10 times. Do it with me. Your hands are out like this. We're counting by tens 10 times. Get ready, go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. This number, 10 tens and zero ones, is telling me that it is 100. This number on this side is five tens and zero ones. I know that five tens is equal to 50. We don't have any ones, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Which number is greater, 100 or 50? Shout it out now. That's right, 100 is greater than 50. And don't forget, these tricky little alligators always like to eat the greater number. Which number do the mouths like to eat? Shout it out. They like to eat the greater number. So I'm going to draw my greater than symbol chomping down on 100. Now this sentence reads, 100 is greater than 50. Nice job, let's keep going. This next one says five tens and nine ones. What number is equal to five tens and nine ones? Think. Shout it out on two, one, two. That's right, 59 is equal to five tens and nine ones. If it helps you, you can write the number above like that so you can see it. If you don't need to, that's okay too. Let's look at the other side. The other side says five tens and two ones. What number is equal to five tens and two ones? Pause and think. Shout it out on two, one, two. That's right, 52. What number is greater, 59 or 52? That's right, 59. I want to know, how did you know that 59 is greater than 52? How did you know 59 is greater than 52? I want you to pause your video and tell me how you knew 59 is greater than 52. Nice job. You should have said something like, I see that 50, that there is a five in both ten, tens columns, but I noticed that there's, but I noticed that there were nine ones but only two ones in this column. I know that nine ones is greater than two ones, so 59 must be greater than 52. So I'm gonna draw my alligator chomping on 59. Now let's read this together. This says 59 is greater than 52. Nice job. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, this next one right here, you need to pause and solve on your own, then play when you're ready. Nice job, you did it on your own, now let's try it together. So, let's look at this number first. This number right here has an eight in the tens column and a zero in the ones column. Eight tens plus zero one is equal to the number 80. What number is equal to eight tens and zero ones? That's right, 80. Now let's check the other side. This number has seven tens and zero ones. What number is equal to seven tens and zero ones? Shout it out. That's right, 70. So we're comparing 80 and 70. 
I need to find which one is greater. Hmm. Well, let's check the tens column first. We're always going to check the tens column first when we're comparing two numbers. In our tens column, I see eight over here and seven over here. Which number is greater, eight or seven? Shout it out. Eight. That means eight tens plus zero ones is greater than seven tens plus zero ones. So I'm going to draw my alligator chomping down on 80. You can also write 80 and then use the words is greater than 70. Let's go on to the next page. So on these, whenever, when you're doing your independent practice later, if you see a line like this in between two numbers, you're gonna use the words greater than, less than, or equal to, which are up here. And if you see a bubble or a circle like this, you're gonna use the symbols, okay? Let's do two more together and then you'll be doing your independent practice. Just to review, when you have the symbol eating the bigger number and the mouth is out that way, it's greater than. When it's an L shape but a little bit turned, it's less than. And when it's two lines on top of each other, equal to. You knew that. Let's read the first one together. 49 is blank than 94. Hmm. Is 49 greater than? less than or equal to 94. Raise your hand if you think 49 is greater than 94. Nice job. Raise your hand if you think 49 is less than 94. Nice job. Raise your hand if you think 49 is equal to 94. Nice job. Let's compare these two numbers. Just like we did before, we're going to check out the tens place first. I see a four right here in the tens place and a nine in this tens place. Which number is greater? Is it four or nine? Raise your hand for four. Nice job, hands down. Raise your hand for nine. Nice job, hands down. That's right. Nine is greater than four. So I know that 94 must be the bigger number. If 94 is the bigger number, that tells me that 49 is the smaller number. So 49 is less than 94. Make sure you get this on your page. Let's go on to the next example. Ooh, I see some more words. Tricky, tricky. We're going to read it together. It says seven tens, mm, six tens, eight ones. Now let's read. Let's check out the tens place. In this number over here, we have a seven in the tens place. And in this number, we have a six in the tens place. Which number is greater, seven or six? Raise your hand for seven. Nice job, hands down, raise your hand for six. Nice job, hands down. That's right, seven is greater than six. So I'm going to draw my alligator chomping on number, on seven tenths. Scholars, awesome job following along. The rest of this page and the few pages after it are your independent practice you're using the symbols up here to compare two numbers. If you need to go back and remember what each symbol means, you can go to the first page of concept development or the first page after the application problem and look at the symbols to remind you. Good luck, scholars. Keep working hard and miss you so much. Bye.